After Harvard and MIT, Johns Hopkins has now become the latest university to sue the Trump administration over its visa rule for foreign students. Last week, the Trump administration announced new rules for international students for the upcoming fall semester. Thank you. The policy change requires them to take an in-person class to remain in the country. If they fail to do so, they risk losing their visa and will be sent back to their countries. The U.S. has the largest international student population in the world. This new rule now puts the education of hundreds of thousands of foreign students at risk. The Johns Hopkins University believes that this move has plunged higher education in the United States into chaos. Hopkins's complaint also sought a temporary restraining order against the proposal by the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, calling it as arbitrary and unlawful. The university also called this move an unjust and discriminatory approach for foreign students. Johns Hopkins University's move comes just days after Harvard and MIT filed a lawsuit for a temporary restraining order and injunction against this rule. This comes as many experts believe that their campuses are especially susceptible to virus transmission. Our correspondent Jagruti Dave from Washington, D.C. gets us this ground report with more details. Resumes in the autumn, which they are going to, which they plan to uh, go to fully online only. Yes, indeed, John Hopkins University is the latest after Harvard and MIT um, to uh, to Italy later on in the year. And now, of course, the Trump administration announced uh, that uh, it would implement to, to file a lawsuit against the Trump administration. Um, they have um, several thousand students and ask uh, international students to return to leave the United States under unless they were attendants um, uh, John Hopkins and they intend to have sort of hybrid uh, classes when uh, term reading some form of face-to-face -face lessons and Harvard and MIT saying they're going fully online and they in their lawsuit said that this would create a lot of chaos for international students and um, there are some criticisms that suggest that this is um, part of the administration's attempt to get rid of international students from campuses the Trump administration says that is not the case it's just to try to free up space to make sure that um, students schools, universities can resume uh, studying um, and for students who are able to attend face to face to make sure that so social distancing um, is possible uh, within the remit of the campus. But um, universities and educators and international students themselves are very concerned about this, worried about the impact this is going to have on their education.